Okay, so some takeaway messages from Professor Christopher Gardner, who's done multiple very well-known studies. We've spoken about them here, and, and you're across all of the, the literature, work from Kevin Hall, etc. What can we confidently say today? We know about nutrition and obesity. What do we still need to go out and explore? And if someone's listening right now, just as an individual, where should they start in terms of better navigating their food choices for weight loss and for overall health? I really think at some level there is a foundational diet. I can even get two extremes, low-fat vegan and ketogenic, to agree on at least four or five things. Less added sugar, less refined grain, lots of vegetables, non-starchy vegetables. So the broccolis, the red bell peppers, the snap peas, the things like that. Overall, more whole foods and less processed food, particularly if you want to call them ultra-processed. Nothing's more contentious than low-fat vegan and ketogenic. And you could get them to agree on that. We don't eat many vegetables. We eat a crap load of sugar and refined grain. We eat a lot of ultra-processed food and very few whole foods. I think that's 50% of the metabolic and the health issues of the planet. And if everybody's agreeing on that, why aren't we focusing on the things that we agree on? Okay, you might not get all the keto and the low-fat vegan folks on board, but... I think we should have healthy fats, avocados, nuts, seeds, oils. I think we should have beans. I think we should have fruits. I'm even down for fish and eggs, even though I'm a vegan myself. Most nutrition professionals agree on all five of those. And then I think if you went to types of whole grains and types of poultry, you'd still get people to agree. Okay, Kentucky Fried Chicken, not so good. How about a pasture-raised chicken? Better. Whole intact quinoa and steel cut oats? Great. Refined grain, not so good. I actually think there's a huge area of foundational diet that everybody would agree on, or almost everybody. So what I'd like to see is people do that and then mess with their personalization. Okay, now I'm really more of a low carber or a low fatter or a higher protein. And when I do it, I'm going to do it with whole foods. I'm going to do it with food's caught the right way. I'm going to take the environment into account. I'm going to take animal rights and welfare into account because it can all fit nicely together. It could be consistent with my personal values, my cultural tastes, et cetera. So I really think there's room for personalization, but I'm very frustrated with like all this focus on the periphery when this stuff in the center that so many people agree on seems to get passed by the wayside. Oh, I'm still waiting for the person to tell me that green jelly beans, that I, I'm genetically predisposed to do well with green jelly. No, no one's ever going to tell you you're going to do well with green jelly beans. Get the foundational diet right and then play with some of the other things. <laughs>